530 series, K530 series. This particular valve is a two inch valve. These valves start anywhere uh, from, it's basically a one inch valve, they could be one inch or three quarter inch fittings on them. So you have one inch, inch and a half, two, and three inch valves. This particular one is a two inch valve. And we have a three inch valve. Now the obviously these are quite a bit different than our existing older style valves. What they've done, they've simplified them, they've made them with true union ends, which I can go I'll go over that with you later. For repairing a valve, instead of having all these little screws and what have you, have a tendency to corrode over time. They've changed the top, which I probably won't be able to get off right here without a strap wrench. I'll show you that later. Um, but the valve is has many, many options that the other valve did not have. This valve uh, has a identification tag on it now right here, which will show so we have identification of the valve we'll, uh, tag on here that gives a complete part number of the valve tells us everything about the valve, the type of internals, the accessories, the uh, operation of the valve um, whether it has limit stops, whether it has position indicators, whether what kind of internal material it is, the size of the valve. As this valve looks, uh, typically this would look like a uh, standard normally open valve. It could have a spring in it, may or may not, without I'd have to look at the part number. Here we have a larger valve. Now this valve didn't come with a tag on it, it's an older valve, it's a huge valve, but this has a position indicator and limit stop. So you can limit the, how far the valve opens up and it also lets you know whether the valve's open or closed. Again, uh, newer valves would have identification on it that would let, let us know that, if it has this feature or not. If, it, if it's spring-loaded open, spring-loaded closed, it could be fail-safe valves, there's, there's any number of uh, options available. Okay, here we have the cutaway of the K530 series valve. Notice the different internals. Again, it works similar to the other valve in that if there's pressure on top of the valve, it will close it. If you relieve the pressure, line pressure will open the valve. Or again, you, you have an option that you can put, uh, you can open it and close it. You can control it both ways. If there's uh, insufficient line pressure, you may want to do it that way. The valve has an option of spring assist open in here. You can put a spring on the top. It can be spring assist closed. Uh, on critical applications, you can have these, this valve with a, uh, a high pressure spring, which will do fail safe close. If you have to have all your valves closed, you can have that option. Again, you have the diaphragm, the shaft. On this valve, this is uh, constructed slightly different. It's not a threaded in seat retainer. It has two O-ring seals on the outer port to prevent any leak by. Inside, it has also had two O-ring seals on the inside of the, the uh, retainer. So it uh, has a pretty much a fail-safe to prevent uh, any liquid from coming out of the valve. Uh, um, has, again, shaft with a rubber seat that could be made into different materials, Viton or EPDM or Buna, depending on uh, the application. The valve also has the option of uh, putting on a limit stop on top of the valve, a position indicator on the valve. K530 
530 series, those are made one way, the true union end. So if you disconnect either end, this valve will come right out of the line and slide out of the, right out of the line. It's an O-ring seal on each side. So this valve will slide out, similar to a ball valve, true union type ball valve. So if you ever had a problem with the valve, that was cracked or whatever, you want to replace the valve, uh, you didn't have time to repair it, you can just pop it, you can buy a replacement valve like this, just pop it in line, put your nuts on, and away you go.